coordinate proof where we want the shape to be a rectangle. So we're going to need to draw a picture and get everything labeled and find the slope and distance for each side. So pause this for a minute and draw your own picture, get everything labeled, find your slope and distance for each side, and then unpause it and we'll talk about the rest of the problem. Okay, so there's my picture. All my rises and runs are labeled. Everything's got negatives, positive, where it belongs, and all those different sorts of things. Here is my table with all of my slopes and distances. So I am looking for it to be a rectangle. So to be a rectangle, I need the shape to have every pair of sides that hit each other. Consecutive sides would be perpendicular. So I need four pairs of perpendicular sides so that I'll have four right angles. So I'm going to go down through and check and make sure that every one is perpendicular and labeled. So those two definitely perpendicular, flipped over opposite signs. This one here has two negatives, so it's actually positive 2 over 5, which would make those two perpendicular. Those two are also perpendicular. And then these two here are also perpendicular. Remember, perpendicular means the fraction is flipped over. And the sign of the fraction is the opposite sign. So one fraction is positive, one fraction is negative. So that information tells me that it is a rectangle. And if you notice that all the sides are the same, that would mean the thing is also a square, but we didn't care if it was square. We just wanted it to be a rectangle. So that's all we're going to talk about in our statement down here. We're going to say, based on my calculations, T H S B is a rectangle because consecutive sides are perpendicular. You can write it has four right angles. Um, it's something that says that you found that those are perpendicular. And again, the big thing is the calculations, the picture, the labels in the calculations where you're saying what's actually happening. Almost all of the points. This statement's worth either the last point or path to the last two points if it's a bigger problem. So make sure those calculations are uh, as good as you possibly can have them and labeled so that they're easy to deal with. 